question how can i open a bank account in new zealand well you can actually set up your account while you're still overseas or you can open your account once you arrive in new zealand details up next on my previous video we talked about how to apply for an ird number in new zealand and on this video we'll take it a step back and actually talk about how you can open your bank account in new zealand for your reference, some of the banks here in New Zealand are BNZ, ANZ, ASB, Westpac, Heartland, and Kiwi Bank. There is also the Cooperative Bank, SBS, HSBC, TSB, and Citibank. Depending on which bank you're going to apply, you may be able to set up your account while you're still overseas. You can do this by first apply online within 90 days of arriving to New Zealand. The bank may ask you for more information and email correspondence. Second, your account is open but just know you'll have limited access which means you can transfer money in that account but you may not necessarily withdraw until you third, activate your account in New Zealand by visiting a local branch. Obviously, I don't provide financial advice. I'm just your friendly moving abroad planner. And if we're just meeting, kia ora, my name is Binibining Veronica. Welcome to The Little Cup from New Zealand to Australia, where I help people create better plan about their big move abroad. So if you're new here, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. Salamat po! Now, if you prefer to open your bank account once you arrive in New Zealand, then there are three steps to follow. Number one. Visit the local branch. Number two, provide proof of identification like your passport. Number three, provide proof of New Zealand address. So this can be a document that shows your full name and New Zealand address. For example, recent utility bill, council rates, insurance policy, and tenancy documents. You will also be given a chance to choose the type of account that you want to open. And again, this is not financial advice. However, when I opened my bank account in New Zealand many years ago, I opted for an everyday account. So this means my pay goes straight to this bank account. So the $5 monthly fee was waived. I also got an FPOST card and a debit card. If you are enjoying this video, please hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you will know when I upload new videos just like this one. And if you want to support the channel, click that super thanks icon at the bottom of the video or simply buy me a coffee by clicking the link below. Alternatively, a big thumbs up always goes a long way. Salamat po! Now more about FPOS and debit cards. In New Zealand, there's a lot of FPOS machine which allows cashless transactions. I got used to this for the last 10 years, but I just don't carry cash with me at all. And just a side note, when I opened my bank account, I didn't really understand the difference between FPOS and debit cards. So I ended up requesting for two separate cards. But practically speaking, I could have just had one card, which acts as a debit card and FPOS card. Debit cards are really handy, especially for online purchases and transactions. Do let me know if you want to have a separate video about different bank accounts, everyday account versus savings account, and if you want to know more about debit card versus FPOS cards versus credit cards. In the meantime, you can check out my video about moving to New Zealand checklist so you can plan your big move better. As always, I wish you all the best with your journey and I hope you will be blessed. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>